Good evening, welcome to my laboratory. There, you're looking at the 2N2222 Joule Thief running the ring oscillator on less than one volt input. Uh, I disconnected the big bank of umpteen LEDs over there and just ran the output of the Joule Thief itself into the input of the ring oscillator. Uh, that ring oscillator has uh, five 2N7000 MOSFETs in there and uh, five capacitors and ten resistors and it's just working just fine. And that is uh, the coil that I'm using now is uh, one of these, this is a little inductor that comes out of an old television set and I'm sure everybody has seen these who's taken apart a TV set. The interesting thing about them is that they're, it's a one-to-one -one ratio winding and the, the, there's actu actually uh, two windings, one on the left comprising those two and one on the right comprising those two. Uh, they're just separated by a little separator there, but they're wound in opposite directions. They're anti-parallel windings, okay? And uh, so I thought that was interesting. And it's on a little square ferrite. And the way these are wound is the bobbin is a two-piece bobbin, and it snaps onto the square ferrite, and then the bobbin is turned. See, there's enough room in there for the whole bobbin to turn, so then the bobbin is turned by a little gear. You can sort of see the gear in the center there. The bobbin is turned by a gear and then that will wind the wire onto the bobbin that's, that then becomes one piece because it's snapped around that rectangular core. But I think this kind of inductor might make a neat little flyback transformer if you wound another primary on the handle out there. At any rate, uh, it works just fine in Jewel Thief and it lights up all of those guys just fine too but I just thought I would try it on, uh, on the ring oscillator see if I, if I put the bank of LEDs back together or reconnect them rather and then disconnect the ring oscillator part Oops. Did I get that in the right hole? Oh, what's the matter? Yeah, see, you can see that all those LEDs are glowing. And let's tweak the resistor, base resistor a little bit. I'm going good there. So that's on less than one volt input. That's a whole bunch of LEDs. But I think the ring oscillator is actually more dramatic. I, I like the I like the ring oscillator. So let me hook it back up. There. Now the ring oscillator draws the more current, so when it's hooked up in parallel with the bank, the bank dies. So I just let go ahead and unplug the bank anyway. Okay, LED Jewel Thief uh, on uh, a dead AA battery powers the 5 MOSFET ring oscillator. Thank you for watching.